Well, I think we got some good news. It is day nine of sourdough starter, and uh, it looked promising yesterday. Float test went well. Um, there looks to be some activity still in the uh, starter, so we are going to do a float test now to see how it comes out. And if everything goes well there, we are going to proceed to start making our loaf, and hopefully by tonight, we'll have a good loaf of bread. So first thing I'm going to do is, uh, oh yeah, you can hear the gases. Oh, it looks really good. You can see all the bubbles that formed in here overnight. Smells sour, a little bit of sweet. Looks good. I'm gonna do the same thing I did yesterday. Just gonna take a little off the top and uh, see if it floats. And it does. Look at that. It's floating right on top, not sinking. I am thoroughly convinced we are ready to go. All right, so we got the uh, float test done. Everything looks good there. Going off this recipe that I've had, um, this is the one that worked before, uh, so I'm just gonna use it again. It calls for 75 degree water, 400 grams of it, so I've already got it measured out. Uh, it's got uh, 100 grams of the starter, which hopefully we have enough, we should. 400 grams of bread flour and 100 grams of whole wheat now thinking back to what I just did with the whole wheat and the, the AP It proved the point that the whole wheat made it more active and airy and bubbly and all that stuff uh, Since I don't have bread flour. I've just got the AP I think I'm gonna swap a little bit on the recipe. So again, it's 400 of the bread 100 of the whole wheat, but since I don't have bread I think I'm gonna do 300 of this and 200 of this, whatever makes 500, which I was supposed to, um, in hopes that we get better oven spring. Uh, I guess from there, we'll just uh, zero everything out on the scale and start mixing. Okay, now that we've got all that cleaned up, it's pretty sticky, uh, as you can see, pretty gross. Um, but we're gonna let this rest, I'm gonna cover it with a towel, uh, leave it at this, uh, at this spot, which is uh, probably warmer than by the window. So this should hopefully start chilling out a little bit. And then the next step, we'll be adding some uh, salt and we're gonna stretch and fold it. And then we will be, uh, ready to let it sit some more and we're going to fold it some more and sit some more etc cetera, etc cetera. so over the next few hours we're just going to be flipping folding and resting it so that's it for now i guess we'll catch up in a, a few and see how the results look we'll go from there we are back to check on our dough it's been about an hour uh, a little over and so the next step is we're gonna add salt, which I already measured out. We have uh, 10 grams of, actually 12 grams of kosher salt. I added a little. And then we've got some water. So that's just gonna help us dissolve the salt and then uh, also make our hands a little better when we're folding the stuff over. So let's check it out, see what it looks like. And to me, it looks exactly the same. So not bad, not good. I think it's uh, indifferent, it's how it's supposed to look. So we're gonna throw our salt on here. This is kosher salt, by the way. This is not regular table salt. This is just regular, uh, this is actually cold water. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of water in there, not a ton, just enough so I can dissolve this uh, salt. And I'm just gonna kinda mush it all up in here and get it all incorporated. I think it's all pretty well incorporated. Yeah, you can see it's getting much, 
sticky or not. So now what we have to do is the stretch and fold. So this process, um, I, I don't know the name of it. I forget what it's called, but you're stretching out the dough and bringing it back. It, uh, it helps build that tension and the gluten, I think, um, something like that. It, uh, it really makes the dough firm for later on so that it'll have that nice uh, spring it so it's not a, just a plop of wet dough. So what I'm gonna do here is grab this and pull it up and then fold it to the back. I'm gonna do that a few times. It's got a lot of tension now. You can see the whole ball is coming up. So I think that was about 10 times. I'm gonna leave it like that. And you can see it's, uh, it's getting a lot more uh, tough, not tough, but it, it's, it's, it's gaining in uh, body. So that's, uh, that's good, that's what we want. And uh, with this, I'm gonna just flip this whole thing over and leave it as is. It looks, it looks pretty good. I wanna scrape, scrape down the sides and make sure it's all tucked in there so it can form a nice ball. It's looking really good. Even just from a few minutes ago, when we opened it up, you can see it's starting to smooth out a little bit. So from here, we're going to let it sit for another hour, covered with our clean, dry towel, and we'll be back to check on it then. All right, we are back to check on this. It is hour two. So all we're gonna have to do here is some stretching and folding as we did at the end of the uh, last part and we're gonna let it rest another hour. So let's check it out, see what it looks like. I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip it over. I would think I'm gonna flip it every time as well. You can see it went from kind of sloppy back to uh, tension you can see as I touch it, it it just kind of pulls up with my finger so that's good that's what we're looking for we want to make sure we keep tension on this thing um, or that it, it keeps tension on itself really and then that's it we're gonna cover it back up and uh, it's gonna rest for another hour we'll come check it back out and we're gonna do this a couple more times it is hour three so we're gonna get back in here stretch Fold, turn, cover it back up. Nothing too exciting going on at this stage, but uh, it is what it is. Oh, look at that big gas bubble. You can tell it's working. There's another one forming here. Cool, good to see. You can see it's, again, it's kind of sloppy. I mean, after a couple of these uh, stretches and folds, it's gonna tighten back up. Uh, you don't want to do it too many times though. It'll actually start pulling the fibers apart too much and uh, breaking it up. But you can see it's actually forming a pretty nice ball at this point. Lots of tension. Again, it was sloppy just a minute ago. Now it's got some tension to it. So that's it for now. We're gonna cover it back up. And uh, we got, I think, one more hour. Okay, we got that all covered up. We got uh, about another hour, I believe. Yeah, so that's gonna rest for another hour. Um, and then at that point, we're actually gonna form the ball and it's gonna start uh, getting its final rest for about five hours. Um, and then we should hopefully be able to bake. So the next one is gonna be where it starts getting uh, interesting. And we're gonna see some changes in the uh, dough, hopefully at least. That's uh, what we're aiming for. So I guess we'll uh, check back in in an hour.